Ladies and gentlemen, uh, he appeared in 08 on the Fox Business Network and predicted the economic depression, tax rebellions, food riots by 2012. That's now beginning worldwide. So he also predicted uh, economic 9-11 and the panic of 08. And uh, he talked about Obamageddon. Uh, now he, he, what's scary is he came out, oh, it's, it's got to be nine, ten months ago now, and said on this very broadcast, he said it first here, and it made attention, you know, uh, caught attention of media all over the world. He said, it's going down, I love to do uh, imitations, but I'm not going to do it. But he said, it's going down by December. It's the dollar's going down, gold's going up. He said, uh, you know, the housing thing has only begun. Uh, and, I mean, it's literally prophecy. And here's gold up at uh, close to 1400 The mortgage scam, we've learned, is just completely mafioso by the white shoe boys, as he calls them. Uh, and it is so insane that even though I've known about this for a long time and talked about it as well, it's still something to know it intellectually, but to have a front row seat to your own uh, roasting. And uh, so we'll talk with Gerald about uh, everything that he's been right about. I wish he was wrong. I wish I was wrong. I wish all our other experts, or Bob Chapman and Dr. Paul Craig Roberts and Webster Tarpley and Max Kaiser were wrong. But we're not wrong. We're right. And so for the next hour and 40 minutes, uh, he joined us. We're very appreciative of him getting up early uh, to do this. TrendsResearch.com. Everyone should subscribe to it. It's just invaluable uh, information. Uh, it's you know, governments, major corporations, Fortune 100. They all subscribe. You should as well. The key inside trends info he gives you is uh, just so important. And, uh, again, I just give credit where credit's due. Uh, Gerald Salente, uh, good to have you here with us. Buongiorno, Alex. Thanks for doing all you were doing, and I uh, wish you the best of good fortune. And I'll do what I can to help as well in raising money for a cause that's well needed in this, in this world. When we have a mainstream media, I don't know how these people could go to sleep at night being the people that they are and perpetuating this disgusting propaganda that they're putting out there that are keeping the people in there in, in like feet in, in cement rather than moving forward to do something to change the direction that this country's going in, which is a crash course. You know, I uh, worked for a large animal vet several summers, Gerald, and, uh, one time we were driving along and these buzzards were eating a dead deer early in the morning on the side of the road, halfway out in the highway. And uh, we drove, tried to drive, you know, tried to drive around the deer driving 60 miles an hour. But the buzzards were so greedy eating the meat that they didn't take off until too late, and one of them smashed the windshield. You know, broke the windshield. I uh, just cracked it, but the, and, 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 but the issue is that's how I see the globalists, the uh, you know this this corporate Wall Street mafia. They are so busy eating the the, the the rotten meat of the of this country and other nations they've basically destroyed. We're dead and just don't know it yet, you know, financially. That they're they're just staying on the staying on the dead carrion and and uh, just just, uh, just driving it into the ground. I mean. How how did you on this show nine months ago and a lot of I, mean, I, I remember I had another economist on right after you and he said I respect Gerald Salente but man that's a that's a you know that's a that's putting it all on the line that's all in you know that's that's that you know that's poker face there to say you're going to see the implosion accelerate and the clear depression being signified by the end of this year and I mean you talk about calling it. Uh, you know, the mainstream media hasn't fully admitted it, but anybody who looks at the evidence knows it's here. How did you do that, Gerald? You got a crystal ball up there? And, uh, current events form future trends. If you read the facts and, and you analyze them and you go beyond the political hype and the lies coming out of Wall Street, you really can see what's going to go on, but people don't want to face it. So they believe for how long that the stimulus was going to work. We said it as soon as it happened that it wasn't a recovery, it was a cover-up. They've just been covering it up worldwide with this cheap money. And look what's going on, Alex. There's a currency war going on. Uh, it, it, and that's not my words, those are the words of the Brazilian finance minister, Montega. And, and what's going on is that in order for these big corporations to export more of their junk overseas, they're devaluing the dollar, just as we said they were going to do. 
We said that we're going to devalue their way out of this. And they're doing it in front of our eyes. And not only the U.S., now it's a whole war out there. Japan's trying to lower their value of their currency. China, as we know, continues to lower the value of their currency. The, the uh, one, one country after another, it's in a race. So what's the bottom line? Gold prices are going up. You don't have to be a genius to figure this one out. But people also don't want to believe that their country is going under. They invested all, so many people invested so much of their mental capital into believing in hope and change we can believe in that they don't want to, they don't want to admit, want to, they don't want to admit that they've been had. And the big had is that we're going into the worst economic times in modern history. And we're just finishing up the Autumn Trends Journal. And I have to tell you that we're looking in 2011 for a great plague to be recognized that's going to, it's going to be a time release plague that's going to wipe out a lot of this population. Having said that... Hold on, okay. hold on, holy mackerel, because I, you, you are a very serious person. you got a lot of great sources. You, know, you told us that gold would explode, that the meltdown would continue, that the mortgage crisis would, would, would be inflamed again, that the depression would be recognized by the end of this year. We're three months away from that, two and a half months away. It, it, clearly, you've been right there. I mean, you're 99% correct, and you we'll know if you're 100% in the next two, two and a half months, and, and I no doubt you're right. You just talked about a mass plague being released, wiping out population. Uh, let's not uh, uh, get, uh, flesh that out and then continue, Gerald. All right. The, the, it's, it's, you know, it's not a virus, and it's not going to be a vermin like the last Black Plague. This one's a time-release plague. It's the obesity plague. You're seeing it with Glenn Beck going blind from aspartame as they're projecting. That's what they're saying. I'm not claiming that's what it is, but it appears that way. You're looking at this country literally exploding. It's not hoof and mouth, it's hand to mouth. This country is going to, you know, they're talking about health care reform. Forget health care reform. How about reforming what the people are doing to themselves? And as the more desperate they become, as the stress levels and anxiety build higher, the more the hand goes to the mouth. And not only with food, it's with these poison pharmaceuticals that they're gobbling up. We're going to hit a crisis level. You're going to start see it in the, seeing it in the numbers. Again, they mask the statistics, Alex. You have to be co politically correct. You can't call it famously fat. You have to call it obese. You cannot say, and that's the other thing, they're cooking the numbers just like they cook them with inflation, just like they cook them with unemployment. No, we know, we know diabetes is up 3,000%, cancer over 2,000%. Uh, we know that they are adulterating the food with so many poisons. The French have laws. They won't allow it. They smoke two, three packs of cigarettes, get drunk every night, eat incredibly fattening food, and they're all amazingly healthy and live on average eight years longer than Americans. Uh, but they won't allow GMO. They won't allow all this. And people keep gobbling because when they're eating processed food, they're not getting the nutrients. So the brain is saying, hey, I'm not eating food. You're just eating empty calories. And you predicted, I remember four years ago on this show uh, and, and, and on your own Trends Journal, uh, Gerald, and on other shows, you with precision precision predicted the next big bubble after housing uh, would be the uh, colleges. Now they're admitting it's, it's basically worthless, most degrees, and a total scam. Uh, you predicted all this. You predicted the financial implosion uh, that's currently happening, the second wave. Uh, you pred so, so you're saying this drugged out, stressed out mass of Prozac, fluoride, aspartame, I mean, they admit that McDonald's and other companies and almost all TV dinners have a, quote, foaming agent that is silicone, deadly poison to your kidneys. And, and, and so you're saying we're just going to see we're just going to see this accelerating. Exactly. And then, again, you don't have to be, you know, put put it together. How could anybody not? So now what happens is you build that stress level on top of this weakened host. 
and you're in trouble. You know, you were talking about the people, as I was listening, was waiting to come on, about the people that listen to your show, the people that you want alongside of you. It's the 20% solution, and that's what we're saying. Because as this is going down at one end, go back to the last black plague. It was followed by a renaissance. The people that survived were the people that could think for themselves. They're the ones that changed their lifestyle. They're the ones that went back and looked to the past, the rebirth, to find out what was better before than what was going on now. So simultaneously, as we're going down, is that 20 percent is the people that listen to what you're saying that read the trends journal that listen to chapman and roberts and kaiser and the rest that are taking a new direction you know alex every day we get emails every day and people thanking us for what we do but the it's not just like with you i don't want anybody following me i got my own trip it's about they thank us for empowering them to showing them other ways of doing things. So as we're talking about where so many people are going to be going down, a lot of are going up. So for example, if you want to eat eggs from these factory farms, these chicken coop concentration camps, and you get sick on them, don't cry, baby. If you want to eat Auschwitz Farms eggs, mass produced, mass consumed, mass murder, don't cry to me. If you go to McDonald's, you eat Burger King, you wash it down with Coke, you can't push yourself away from an all-you-can-eat buffet, don't ask me to help you pay for your health care. God forbid you get dealt a bad hand, you become you know, it disabled or for whatever, count me in, I'll be there to help. But what we're going to start seeing, Alex, just like the Black Plague, you're going to start seeing a thinning of the herd. And the people that are going to move forward and make it are going to be that 20%. They're going to be putting out those foods out there. They're going to be the made in America. I told you uh, one of the great things that happens is that we get people uh, telling us how we're helping them. One guy started a whole line of, of tomato sauces from the best products he could get in America. Zeke, my technical guy, he heard that, that, that advertisement that you have on for the jeans. He sent away for them. Uh, he loves them, made in America. So as it's going down, you don't have to go down with it. As it's going down, see where gold is going. Think a hundred times before you get sucked into buying another piece of real estate. Break the chains from those chain stores. If enough people stop going to Walmart, stop stopping shopping, stop going to Target, stop eating McDonald's, guess what? Bah! They collapse. You know why? Because they're working on margins. And the only way those margins grow is by them expanding. And the only way they expand is to get your money. Once their margins go down, they begin to collapse. 20% of the people in this country can break the chains. And when they break those chains, until they break those chains, they're never going to be really free in this country.